Yo, how's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. But before I get started, man, I just want to thank all of you guys who showed so much support in my last video. You guys are crazy. You guys hit over 1k views. I asked for 10 likes. You guys hit me with 20 something. So thank you guys so much, guys. And if you guys are new to the channel, man, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could drop a sub and like the video. I'd it helps out so much it helps out a ton and we're so close to 500 i'm gonna be doing a giveaway at 500 i'm not gonna say what yet but it's now i'm gonna be doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers so make sure to drop a like and sub to the channel if you guys want to be entered in that all my subscribers are automatically going to be entered so yeah just make sure you're subscribed and yeah but okay anyways let's get right into this video okay so this is going to be a very short simple type of video um honestly it's going to be really short I feel like a lot of players like have trouble finding their aim and maybe that's why you're watching this video you want to you're having trouble not your aim but your sensitivity you're having trouble finding your perfect sensitivity for you and whether you're a wrist or arm player i'm gonna be um i'm gonna be giving my suggestions obviously you guys don't have to go for what i say but this is just what i personally think in my opinion obviously no one can tell you what sensitivity you have to be playing on it's obviously up to you whatever you're comfortable with but you know i'm just gonna put this out there you know so you guys could try it out and see how you guys feel with it if you guys like it you know good for you guys and for you guys who don't then you guys could always try something else you know but we're gonna get off started with the um wrist aimers okay i because i feel like there's a lot more wrist aimers than arm aimers or maybe it's the other way around i don't know personally i'm an arm aimer but you know i feel like there's a lot of wrist aimers okay so if you're a wrist aimer for sure for sure the first you're gonna want to be playing anything above like 400 edpi you're gonna want to be playing above that and it, most of you guys are probably wondering what the hell is an edpi so pretty much an edpi is pretty simple so all you got to do is multiply your dpi by your sensitivity so my um my dpi is 1600 and my in-game sensitivity is like 0 0.14 i believe so my sensitivity is like around 200 something i don't know the exact number but it's around the 200 so that's a good for an arm aim so yeah anything above 400 you're gonna want to use wrist aim because it's just it's way too quick for arming there's really no point and obviously anything i say anything below like 400 or like anything below like 350 not even 400 like anything below like 350 ish you're gonna want to use arm aim so like let's just say if you you think you're an or your arm aimer but you're playing on like an sensitivity of like 400 and something or edpi of 400 and something then you're gonna probably gonna want to try to change it up a little bit you know because you can't arm aim when you're playing on like 500 edpi that's just not gonna cut it you're gonna be if you could wrist aim like that but you can't arm aim okay so yeah like I, like i'm saying you know if you use arm aim you know try to use like around my personal preference is like around like a edpi between like two two to three hundred on average is what I, I switch it up but i always keep it between that certain area so yeah i do play on 0 0.14 1600 dpi so you guys can give that a shot if you guys want to try my sensitivity i uh, time i try to give some of my sense everyone says it's really slow so obviously it is all up to you guys and i mean yeah that's all i can really tell you guys i mean i can only tell you guys what else what sensitivity to use i always yeah, say i could tell you guys like on your play styles like let's say you like to hold wide angles or not wide angles but like longer angles and stuff then i'd say probably you probably want to play on a lower sensitivity because it's getting easier to tap heads and if you like to play like really aggressive like a jet that just dashes in tries to get any picks as possible then i say play on a high sensitivity because it's so much easier to clear angles when you're on a high sensitivity and that's pretty much all i could really say but um yeah if you guys did enjoy this video and if you guys have any questions make sure to let me know down below and drop a like on the video make sure to sub if you guys are new i'd really appreciate it i am going to be uploading three times a week i'm going to be uploading on mondays wednesdays and fridays so um yeah and maybe i might miss a day but i'm gonna try my absolute best to not miss a single day but yeah thank you guys for watching today's video i'll see you on the next one guys peace